astonishing and unreal. Astonishing and unreal. The impact of that Supreme Court decision had a you know, major change on, on who voted this time around. Yeah, and Michigan and Pennsylvania, these are states that Democrats have won for decades. The impact of that Supreme Court decision had a you know, major change on, on who voted this time around. Yeah, and where we can do things like have an election on, on a Saturday where people could vote more easily. There are a lot of things which can be done to help us participate more freely. And so if you talk about a conspiracy theory, that can be very entertaining. But does it get to the real root of the, the issue where we want to have maximum participation by people all across the country? Yeah, and that brings me to you, Greg Pallas, because we had you on uh, a couple of months ago to talk about your Rolling Stone article that was dated back in August 24th. And it says that it was titled The GOP Stealth War Against Voters Will an Anti-Voter Fraud Program Designed by One of Trump's Advisors Deny Tens of Thousands Their Right to Vote? It was about a program called Crosscheck that was created by Chris Kobach, who is now potentially up for a job in the Trump administration. And I want to read a little bit from your article. Uh, it says election officials in more than two dozen states have compiled lists of citizens whom they allege could be registered in more than one state and eligible to be purged from the voting rolls. Rolling Stone obtained a portion of the list in the names of one million targeted voters. According to our analysis, the cross-check list disproportionately threatens solid Democratic constituencies, young, black, Hispanic, and Asian American voters with some of the biggest possible purges underway in Ohio and North Carolina, two crucial swing states with tight Senate races. To your knowledge, Greg, was cross-check in use in states like Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, states that Hillary Clinton seemed on track to win but lost? In Michigan and North Carolina, the wipeout of black and Hispanic and young voters was massive, especially under cross-check. Uh, about 50,000 people lost their votes in Michigan because they were accused of voting twice or potentially voting twice or registering twice. Nonsense, mostly minorities. That's 10 times Trump's plurality. North Carolina, it was huge. Maybe 100,000 voters, at least 35,000 voters lost their vote there. Here's the thing. Let's get, let's get away from this hacking stuff. I just got off the phone with the chief attorney, one of the top uh, voting process attorneys uh, that works with Stein, Bob Fetrakis, he's probably the top expert in the country on, on the legal process of voting. It's not about Russians hacking. It's not about playing games with the software. It's about machines that were miscalibrated. It's about the fact that what, we have about a half million absentee ballots in America, which is thrown out for highly technical and questionable reasons. It's 2.7 million so-called provisional ballots when especially African Americans go in and their name is missing from the voter rolls and they're given a provisional ballot, which is then thrown in the dumpster. It's about... Um, uh, ballots that are supposedly blank, but in fact have a mark on them and need to be reviewed. It's about machines that are off by one hundredth of an inch and don't read a mark on a ballot. It's about 90 percent turnouts in rural Trump areas, which is just astonishing and unreal. Um, it's about blank ballots, which may not be astonishing and unreal. Um, it's about blank ballots, which may not be uh, blank. You have to look at this is a, a technical process. Forget the hacking stuff. Forget the conspiracy stuff. Forget Russians. This is uh, this recount, this review of the ballots and decisions about which ballots are being thrown out and disqualified by the tens of thousands swamps Trump's plurality in several states. And this is the secret of American, uh, the hidden secret of American democracy. We don't count millions of votes. We and, literally don't count them. And Greg, I want to stay with you on this just point for one moment, because I want you to make this point again. We don't count millions of votes. We and, literally don't count them. And Greg, I want to stay with you on this just point for one moment, because I want you to make this point again. You put out, uh, uh, the night after the election, this series of tweets in which you compared the, um, the, the exit poll in a state like Wisconsin or Michigan or Pennsylvania with the result. Could the throwing out of absolute absentee ballots, combined with knocking people off the voter rolls, combined with just not counting their provisionals, account for that difference. You got it. I think you're the first journalist to get it in America. <laughs> it's that it, when you leave for an exit poll, you say if you voted, but it doesn't say you don't. They don't ask you if your vote counted. Did you did you vote on a provisional ballot? Did your was your ballot thrown out for a technical reason, etc.? And we're talking millions of votes. That pretty much accounts for this entire so-called red shift, where the exit polls. People said they voted for Hillary, but it comes out different in the final count. It's because of disqualified ballots. That's the real purpose of this uh, so-called recount, which is, in fact, in most cases, to get a ballot counted in the first place. 
And, and Kareen, that is the that is the point I think that a lot of Clinton fans are missing. Let's go back. I want to yeah. look at every single poll. So Hillary Clinton should have won. Wisconsin, Trump wins by only 22,000 votes. 10,707 votes in Michigan. 70,000 votes in Pennsylvania. These are a pittance. Combined, Trump's margin is 107,000 across these three states. Are Democrats missing the point if they're worried about the machines being hacked and not worried about voter disenfranchisement, voter suppression in these states. I think that's exactly right, Joy. I think voter suppression is key here. You know, what we saw is that the Supreme Court in its uh, Shelby County decision, um, that really took out the Voting Rights Act in its core. It's not the Russians, y'all. Look at the Republicans. <laughs> Focus. Thank you to Yashar Ali, Mark Alexander, Greg Palace. Great journalism there uh, on your behalf. I wish more people listened to you. And Kareem Jean-Pierre. Thank you, guys. Uh, should be.